What's going on guys, it's OctoGriz here back for another video and I got a DM from one of my viewers saying how to basically mess or change the config in Void Pack 2 which if you watched my previous video you would know what I'm talking about uh, and I decided that not only show how to change the config for the tree growth but how to install the pack if any of you aren't really sure and don't know how to basically install it so we're basically just going to explain how to get it so first thing we've got to do is find tech go to the technic launcher website which is right here technic pack dot net okay, so you go there and you get the launcher all right pull down and you pick which one you have to which which OS you have so if you have like a Mac uh, computer like an Apple computer or if you have a Linux computer I do not know anybody that has a Linux though so yeah most people have Windows so you would click on either one of these it would start a download um, our, I already have it so you would you would save this to your desktop and you would double click on it and it should install and then you would log in into your minecraft account now I are, I have auto login so none of you can hack me through my email so it's going to launch up there's gonna be like an install thingy it's going to start installing here and then for some reason my auto login didn't work so let me just log in real quick All right. Okay. And it's it, this this console is it, all of this is normal, so don't freak out if you see that. All right. So now you're on your discover page. You're like, where's the mod packs? How do I get it? So go to mod packs and search up void pack. And it should be the first one with the tree little here. You would click install and it would install it. Now, if you do have more than two gigabytes of memory on your computer then I recommend doing something with your Java so go to launcher options go to Java settings and change it to something higher than one because it will it will improve uh, game performance a lot I have mine on five gigabytes which is pretty good so yeah and if it's any none of none of the packs are launching up for you and you have like a different version of Java I recommend finding a 1.7 64-bit version of Java if you have a 64-bit system so that's one fix if you have any issues with that now next things next we're going I'm going to show you guys how to basically change the config so the trees grow faster which is something very simple you can also change a lot of other things in the mod pack through the cons through the configs so go to void pack 2 skyblock right here go to mod pack options click open and then where it says config you want to go here and it will show you the config for a couple of mods and you want to scroll down until you see tree growing simulator that's the one for tree growth um you might need to get notepad plus plus I can show you guys that how I can show you guys how to get that but yeah you might need that um, so I'm going to click this I don't think you need notepad plus plus I think you can just click open with and then choose notepad and it should work yep here we go I'm using the notepad and you want to change nothing uh in in up here you don't really need to change anything up here i changed mine to 25 um and 30 so right here is the amount of ticks times five you must be crouching or sprinting before bone meal is applied this is the main thing so let's say you're like crouching a lot of times this is probably like the main thing that you will need to change for 
how how many times or how long it takes for the treats to apply bone meal to it so the lower the number so if I put it at 10 they're gonna grow pretty quick uh, or if I put it at 100 they're gonna grow pretty slow I keep it at, at 30 because it's a very stable number uh, yeah and then click X once you're done changing anything in here and click save now if you guys prefer using notepad plus plus which is sort of something that coders use to edit files and stuff then it's very simple just search up notepad plus plus and there should be a thing there's also a lot more configuration so for example solar flux you can change how much RF um, certain things produce you can change vein miner config uh, tinkers construct I think that is what it is XR asterisk uh, extra TIC as compress them hats I think you can add hats I don't know loot bags if, if you guys have something that you want to change with the loot bags like what kind of items it should get and like the chance of getting that certain item you can change that in the config head crumbs you can pick you can get heads and stuff like that more player models pretty cool and I add-ons a bunch of stuff there's a lot of stuff in the config and also another thing if you guys want to add your own mods to the mod pack now there's one thing for this if you are going to play on a, an official server since you know void pack 2 is an official they have an official server that you can join um this if you add like a, a mod for example lucky blocks i don't think this mod has yeah it doesn't have lucky blocks if you join a server it, it won't really lucky blocks either won't be like working they won't be working for you you can't craft them or anything or you will not be able to even join the server i never tried the only mod i've ever put in here is server compatible which is optifine and most likely vein miner i am not sure but yeah that's pretty much it for this video hope you guys enjoyed make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're new to the channel or haven't yet and i'll see you guys in the next one